All right, now the plant that I have in front of me here, this is called Harry Lotter's Walking Stick. Harry Lotter's Walking Stick is probably one of the most interesting plants in the, in the plant kingdom because the, all the new growth comes out and it tends to, to twist like a pig's tail. And you can see, it's kind of hard to see with the leaves on it here. Um, I'll pick a couple of these off so we can actually see. Oops, I broke the branch off. But anyway, you can see there that uh, it, there's a tendency for the plant to, to just completely curl. And matter of fact, on this one, I don't, you can see it here. This one has got a very interesting jagged point. So anyway, this plant tends to grow um, in, in kind of an erratic pattern. Now these usually are grown in a shrub form like I have right here and they're grown multi-stem. Now one of the things that you have to be aware of, oftentimes these are grafted. Sometimes they're grown on their own roots and if that's the case then you're very lucky because you won't get suckers. But a lot of times they're grafted onto a type of filbert and you'll get uh, suckers from the rootstock that grow just straight as an arrow up through the plant. And if they're allowed to grow, they will totally destroy and detract from the plant. So um, that's something you don't want to happen. Now basically all I'm going to do on this one is just prune it up a little bit because I want it, I don't want these branches laying on the ground. Um, we've had a number of these that they've been pretty much laying on the ground all summer. So I'm going to make it nice and compact so that next spring it flushes out with new growth and that growth comes up this way and doesn't lay over in the ground where it's going to get all dirty. Now one of the things that I do is I train these things as a single stem, turn them into a single stem tree and stake them upright. And I'm going to show you how we do that with one over here. Now you can see that we have tied this one, this is the Harry Lauders, we've tied this up to a stake. We got it kind of a loop in here, but that, that makes it, because you can, when all the leaves are off, you, you'll really see this. But this thing comes like this. Now here's a branch that's pretty much laying on the ground. Um, I don't want, eventually I want this plant to be five or six foot tall and then develop a head up there and the rest of this will all be stem. So now it's towards the end of the growing season, so I'm going to start trimming this thing up because come next spring, I want, it, uh, I want it headed in the right direction. So I'm going to remove all these lower buds and leaves down here. The leaves are going to fall off, but there's right behind each leaf there's a bud. If you, if you can see right here, a little tiny bud. I want that off too because I don't want a branch down there. That's, that will be a branch next spring if I don't uh, deal with that now. So I'm going to take off these leaves and buds and I'll go up about that high this time of year. Normally I leave those on there to help feed the plant but uh, this thing is going to be dormant here in a few weeks. So, But anyway you can see what a crazy looking stem that is and we'll just keep and, and if you notice how this thing retracts like a spring, that's the nature of the plant. As this grows next year, we'll put a taller stake on it and we'll just keep training it upright. And uh, in a second here, I'm going to show you one that I've actually planted down in the cemetery and I'm training that one down there. So let's go down there and take a look at that. Now, Earlier in the video I showed you the Harry Lauder's walking stick. This is one that I've actually planted at my mom and dad's grave site because one, my mom really, she, was, she really liked all kinds of plants, but she really liked interesting plants and something like the Harry Lauder's walking stick would be very, very special to her. So what I've done is I've trained this one upright and uh, I actually trained this thing at home up to about this high. Then I planted it here um, early this spring and now I've trained it up to about this high. And the reason I want to get it up this high is because our local cemetery, they're, they're very gracious in allowing us to plant things like this. A lot of you can't do that and I know that some of you will be envious that, that we can do that here in Perry Township. So, but I want to be considerate to the people who mow here and do maintenance. So I want to get this up real high and then I'm going to let the head develop way up here so when the guys are mowing, it's not going to come along and interfere with them. So I came down here a couple of days ago because this had leaves all the way up and down it, which is important during the growing season. You want to leave leaves on there so it continues to feed the plant and then keep training this upright. So now we're near the end of the growing season. So I took all this new growth off down here and then little by little I'll take this off and eventually I'll end up with a head here with all these crazy curly looking branches 
Um, so anyway, that's that's a lesson. This is so Harry Lauder's walking stick typically grew, typically grows as a multi-stem shrub, like all shrubs. But I train them single stem upright. And at some time in the future, when I have this plant more developed, we'll come back and get more pictures, more video, and show you. The other thing that I planted here on on their grave site is a lace leaf weeping Japanese maple. This one happens to be the variety is ever red. And again, uh, of course, you know, what better plant, you know, to honor your parents with than a lace leaf maple. And, and my mom and dad both liked them a lot. Um, you know, my dad wasn't into plants a lot other than he had a garden. And, and being an Irishman, he loved to uh, he loved to grow potatoes. So I remember as a kid be out, out there planting potatoes and digging potatoes. And, you know, that was kind of like a passion with him. But uh, later on in life, he really learned to appreciate a lot of the more interesting plants and flowers and stuff. But again, with this lace leaf maple, I'm going to try and train this one up as high as I can for the very same reason, because I, it's going to get eventually get a real wide head on it. And I want the guys who mow and maintain things down here to be able to get underneath of it. So again, I'm going to keep training this thing upright. And as I do, I'll probably remove more of these low branches so I can get that canopy effect, like a, a big umbrella or a mushroom. Shape, shape plant. So I'm Mike McGrory from freeplants.com.